Hello and welcome to K-Man Gaming. I am K-Man and this is Factorio. Well, let's have a think. What did we complete last episode? Um, we actually upgraded all of our smelting. Um, let's just go and have a quick look at what we can see. We upgraded all of our smelting to electronic furnaces. Um, well, actually we didn't upgrade, we added in new electronic smelting we have got some here i haven't put anything any radars down here yet but this this is our new these three big ones here are our new iron smelter and then these two are our new steel smelter and they fill up both red belts now we've got red belts they all feed into that and that all feeds into our make everything and um and the rest of our um, science. So let's have a think. What is it that we want to accomplish today? I actually think we're going to start working our way towards yellow science today. So what can we make nice and easily? The low density structures can be made really nice and easily. The flying robot frames will take some engineers oh, and some lubricant. Now we're not actually creating any lubricant yet and that is from the heavy oil so maybe we need to go across to our heavy oil production let's go ahead down there and if we haven't yet turned it into um, advanced oil processing maybe that's something that we need to look at doing oh I think I've come far far too far out of the way nope there we go we're, we're down this way so advanced oil I can't remember if we'd even set it up yet nope it's all there we're ready to go to advanced oil processing have we even researched it let's just have a double check have we researched it advanced oil processing yes we have all we need to do is add in the water to what we've got here so far so let's just set up the blueprint for this can we do it here yes we can oops let's just change this so it's advanced or make sure we've got these in the right places otherwise it's not going to help anyone is that right we think that's okay there and there we go we can carry those along let's just carry them along there and then we want to copy and paste so we'll just line these all the way up Tra -la 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 -la. all the way along I'm not gonna do these ones just yet because I'm gonna try and get a uh... oh no we can I've got squeak through now oh that's okay we can go all the way along oh actually it's not gonna work is it hmm we'll do some we'll do some whatever we need to do to get that one working properly shortly Okay, and of course the copper field. So let's take the let's take this down. Can we can we stretch it that way? Yes, we can. Let's take it all the way down, and we'll drag it around the outside of the copper field. That should give us enough space there. Let's. Oh no, am I too far away to get some more underground? Oh, there we go. Nice, marvellous. And this is exactly why I have long reach. I never think about what I need until I'm actually there and doing it. And then it's always too late. So we're all the way over here and that should be enough, but we will save it for a second. Have we got an offshore pump or do we have the ability to be able to make an offshore pump? I always get them confused, the pump and the offshore pump. Oh, we can build it just there. Nice one. So that's got our water going towards our advanced oil processing for us. We just need to do a little bit of fangling with uh, with that gap. So underground can go there and to there. And then let's just do a squiggle and it's cheating a little bit it just gets everything everything powered there and then what we do need now 
is all the way along all the way along we now want advanced oil processing now that is going to be our petroleum gas this one will be our light oil this one will be our heavy oil I believe light oil we crack into petroleum and heavy oil we can crack into lubricant so let's just have a quick double check have I brought any with me nope so long reach once again long reach and this one 25 oh goodness me far too many um if these are each producing 45 light oil and we can crack light oil into petroleum okay so if we've got the 45 um, light oil being produced every five seconds so that means that each is producing nine a second this oops this will take 15 light oil a second so it works out the closest is roughly three of these to two chemical plants so how many we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 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 of these so that's six twelve 12 chemical plants should crack us all the light oil we need. Um, let's just one, two, let's pop it here for now. Um, light oil into petroleum. Oh, and of course we do, we will need some water for it. So we'll take that up there. And then this one can be our light oil. And then we'll bring them all the way along and all the way along and I'm going to cut that and move it down south just a bit further there we go oh those nanobots are getting fast now aren't they two six eight ten twelve there And there we go. Oh, and then we just need the uh, the one pipe all the way along. And how do we want to play this? How do we want to play this? I think I'm just going to do a little bit of circuitry so that it takes this amount first and then cracks the next amount. Um, so this one is the oil one that's oil full and then this one can be water we'll bring this and give it its own water source as well i don't think it needs it but just as a just in case we'll drag it all the way along and I think I noticed when I opened my inventory the last time, I think I noticed that we've got a few. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the, it's the other type of pump. There we go. OK, so there we go. And let's bring that down. Oops. That can just be the straight ones there. And then we need to go and fill in all of those, otherwise it's not going to work for us again. Nuclear power is finished. Marvellous. Um, we can just put that one on there for now. That's grey, I believe. Blue. Grey. Blue and purple. Blue and purple. Blue and purple. Oh, that will be our... Oh no, that's beacons. Called it perfection. There we go. I think that's... That's enough science for us to be going with for a short while. Okay, so that's everything for coal liquefaction needed now. Okay, so I think um, after a little bit of uh, fiddling, 
I have set the surf condition. If the petroleum in this is less than 15,000, then fill it. Um, and I hope, I hope that that works. Um, because it should then, if there's anything less in here, if this is ever running out, it should turn everything back on again, which will launch this one back up again, which hopefully is correct, but I've been known to be wrong on these things more than once, so we shall have to deal with that as it comes. Uh, lubricant does 10 heavy oil a second, creates 10 lubricant, so we will just do the the two of those. Um, let's pop this back. Um, we don't need those bits on top. And um, we'll change this into lubricant, and then we can put this all in a a storage tank just for now. Um, there we go, um, and we can connect that up appropriately. There. Um, and we have run out of those. Let's just create one more. And it does, of course, create them in two, so I don't know where I've put It's probably there that I've used just a single one. Okay, so that is lubricant created for us. And what did we need lubricant for? Again, we're creating yellow science. I believe we're looking at replying robot foam. And this was for the electric engine unit. And that requires, do you know what we should be doing? I should have used Factorio Planner. I should have used a new sub factory. I should have done Yellow Science like this and it will tell me everything that I need. And I've forgotten to do it again. And I'm an absolute spanner for doing so. So amount 100 and we need 100 Yellow Science, submit. And it will tell us now need 15 producing and so flying robot frames require all of those and it requires 500 lubricant fluid a minute okay so one of these if it's doing 10 in a second that can do times 60, so that's 600. Okay, so two of those is absolutely plenty. It's just whether or not we'll use all our... Um, all of our petroleum in time. I'm, I'm sure it'll even itself out eventually. Um, oh, try not to get anything in there. So, we do need to take this back. I bet I've got this full of coal though, haven't I? Can I? Uh, it's too much stuff for me to... I'll take it back and then... Oh dear. I'll take this back and then I'll edit this next bit. But by the time I come back, I will have a lovely line of... Um, Lubricant coming across to the base. There we are, so we've got a lovely line of lubricant all the way along 
for us now. Let's look at what we need to create. So flying robot frames, processing units, low density structures. Low density structures shouldn't be too difficult at all for us. Might eat the rest of our copper. Um, have we even brought copper down? Yes, we have got copper there. Might eat a lot of our copper, but we can deal with that. Um, so let's go and create the flying robot frames first and see how far through that we get. How many do we need? Flying robot frames. So we need eight producing um, electronic engine units and we need the same eight producing regular engine units. So we'll build those over here. Let's just get rid of these trees. Goodbye trees. And let's create up a base for eight. What do we need on the engine units? Steel plate, iron gear wheel, and two pipes. So we'll need to build those on site. One and one for each of those. So let's move this across a little bit more actually. And we'll put one there and one, two, three, and then these ones can be the twos. So these will be our outputs onto our next lot of belts. And we can just put that in the middle there. And that will be gear wheels. That one will be pipes for us, which means we will need to have iron come in down here on this row. And then these ones for engine units will have steel, iron gear wheel, iron pipe. So that's absolutely fine there. We can do that nice and easily. Whoops, we will need that one as well. Um, nice and easily. Blues, blues, and reds, reds. Now we'll also have a blue coming out for now. And I'm not going to put a line on it because I don't quite know where I'm going to put the um, the electric engine units just yet. Um, so let's bring this one across. We need to start bringing this one down. All the way across there. There we go. And then we need to do this manually now because this will only do a four, whereas we could run with the yellows. That was nice and lovely. But we've moved on. We've advanced past the yellows, which is good news for us. It means the base is coming along nicely. We need to upgrade that entire line because they are still all yellow belts. And we need some more. There we go, 500 transport belts for us. And is that one more down there? Is that correct? Have I done that in the right line? Yes, I have. There we go, and oh goodness me, look, iron is really starved, really starved. We can absolutely get that working faster. We'll go and upgrade that um, momentarily. Let's just get this up and running first. Um, one, there we go. So that's starting to create what we need there. Oh, there we go, um, bring that all the way along. And then we can just copy and paste. six and eight there we go and that's what we need and I have oh I don't know I think that's a new key binding to remove the to do that I've done that accidentally a couple of times and I don't know how to get it back on just yet so we'll have to deal with it we will have to deal with it okay and then I think it's the same again we're just doing eight again can we do a direct insertion then I wonder Let's see, green circuits and electronics. So that's lubricant. If we do direct insertion there and do that same again there, we need to rotate these all individually. And then if we go down, just a couple, down, just a couple, that would be our lubricant. And then our green circuits can come in one side and then out another side so let's see if we do down and under oh 
Is that right? No, that's not right. Down and under. And then down and under. That must be what we're looking for. Um, of course, we will need to do that. And then this one will just come. That's absolutely fine. Let's copy and paste that. That's not going to work. We'll have to remove that one. Let's try and copy and paste it again. Yes. Yes. And yes. Okay, there we go. We'll just connect uh, all of this because that will be our lubricant. We do need some more of those. We're really getting through those today. I've upped it to 200 there just so that it makes life nice and easy for us. One, two, three, four. Let's put that on the other side. There we go. Um, there we are. Um, that's our electric engine units. Nice one. Maybe we only need those on one side. Maybe we can join them up eventually. But no worries. Never mind. Breaking force. That's all of our research done as well. Um, let's just do some random research now. As long as it's the right colour, I don't think it really matters. So we'll just let that work its way through. Um, that is our electric engine units complete. If we fire this up, of course, the reason it's not working is because we don't yet have any lubricant. So one, two, three, four. And then let's bring it down this way as well. And what's going on there? Have we started? Is it all going now? Of course, green circuits, which will be this one. Completely forgot about the green circuits. And we'll bring those down. All the way down, jump that. And then let's just line it up. Whoops. Let's just line it up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Done and done. Let's watch it. Will the first ones now start getting produced? Come on, that's all I need. Just the green circuits. Yes, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Let's just watch the first one be produced because it's satisfying. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's go while we remember. Let's go and upgrade. We might as well upgrade this whole line while we're here. Let's just upgrade um, the lot from yellow to red. Um, yellow to red and yellow to red. And that's all we want to do. We'll use that and we'll just take it up like this. Okay, so that is that first part of the bus all upgraded and let's just see how we're doing for, oh, we are not doing very well for power at the moment. So let's just finish off this episode by going and placing some solar panels to help us grow.
I think I will just speed this part up for you so that you don't have to worry too much um, about watching it all. If you have enjoyed the episode, please do like and subscribe or leave a comment. I do really like responding back to the comments you leave. It's really lovely. Um, yes, um, have a great time and I will see you again soon.